is August 31st and you're watching Oli TV. Hello and welcome to Oli TV and our Utah High School basketball breakdown. We just got a brief breakdown here. Me and Jack will be talking about some of the biggest games. that BYU applications for fall 2022 open Wednesday, August 25th. There's a live stream for high school seniors to attend the same day on the 25th at 7 p.m. You can register for the live stream online at inyourtown.byu.edu. Well, coming into this game, President Greb was one of the top teams in 6A, around 4th or 3rd in the league, won 6A. Then here losing to this American 4 team, it sort of hurts them. Now they're going to drop down to around 5th or 6th and get passed up by a few of those teams in 6A. So it takes them from that top 3 down to that top 5 spot. <laughs> Good morning, Titans, and happy Valentine's Day. Today is February 14th, and you're watching Only TV. Rounds, and the rules are when you can't, and the rules are when you can't tell the pickup line because you're laughing too hard, you're done. All lines have to be school appropriate, and you have to make direct eye contact with me, the host. Jack, what did you see from the Titans in that matchup? Olympus, they're clearly the top team in 5A, and they came. James Gavin, number one, one you're live. to Moroni Johnson, back to James Gavin, throws to John Gavin, Moroni Sorry. Johnson. He's with it, and he's going to pass it out to Mayfield, now he goes back to work with Barnes, steps back into a deep three-pointer, and he hits it, Jordy Barnes getting everything to go from deep as he steps back into that one. Of a man named Brady, who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together, yet they were all Cloudy today with a high of 52 and a low of 39. It will consistently get warmer each day with the high of the week coming on Monday of 62 and the low that day will be 43. And on Tuesday, yet another brainstorm will come in. And Maple Mountain has a pretty big center, number 40, but uh, Elisa Blink is a little bit faster and is able to cut and get through and get right by there. Dowdell now is guarded by Compton. He attacks inside with contact and one. Dutch Dowdell inside. Starting to get it rolling for him. He now has 12 points in this one. Three. Ready? Okay. Are you an artist? Because you're drawing me in. Yay! And it's been clear here. Taylorsville's fast break uh, defense hasn't really been, one, you're live. been here tonight. They've been unable to recognize where each player is. They've been going right behind him, getting to the open basket. They haven't been able to move back and move with the offense. Girls Volleyball played an incredible game last night, beating Cottonwood 3-0. Good job, ladies. And congrats to the girls' tennis team for their win over Highland. Varsity has won all of their games. That one's going to be taken there. No good. Barnes sends it down the length of the court to Gavin Lowe, who lays it up and in. Whoa, now it's Barnes. Over to Mayfield and right back to him. Deep three-pointer taken early and hit. Jordy Barnes from deep, nothing but nets. This defense has been very well one of that. When they do attack the basket, they suck him into the baseline and trap him right there. That's it for the weather. Most people call me J-Bod, but you can call me anytime. No, too, right? right? Is he also disqualified? What? Is he also disqualified for saying that? Um. Senior Sunrise is Friday, August 25th. Come at 7.30 during the late start. Thanks, Joel. Now to weather with Anthony. It's j -Bod. I'm here with Coach Whitehead. Uh, head of coach, so uh, in the past two games, your defense has allowed six total points. Already in the first half, Murray has 14 total points. What do you think changed offensively for Murray? Or do you think your defense did differently that allowed Murray to score 14 points in one half here? We're up two scores. We're going to be all right. We're going to come out. We're going to smack him in the mouth. We'll be fine. All right. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Back to you guys. Thank you. Wow, that was great. The SBOs are doing a great job this year and improving the school. Can't wait to see what they do next. Thanks for watching today's episode, and we hope to see you again.